In this video, let us solve more problems based on basic proportionality theorem. So we've got a question here which reads like this. In the figure, LM is parallel to AB. If AL equals X minus 3, that is, this is equals X minus 3, and AC equals 2X, the whole thing, if it equals 2X, and BM equals X minus 2, and the whole of BC equals 2x plus 3, we need to find the value of x. So now, again, it is not very different from the previous uh, problems that we've solved. If there is a line that is parallel to a side in the triangle, then it divides the other two sides in the same ratio, right? So, so since we have LM and AB in the triangle ABC, we've got, therefore, because of that, we've got AL over LC, AL over LC equals bm over mc bm over M mc right so al we've got the data which is x minus 3 now lc can be written as ac minus al we have the value for bm which is x minus 2 we don't have the value of mc so therefore we write mc in terms of bc and bm so it's going to be bc minus bm so now substitute the values of all the Lines here. So AL is x minus 3, and we've got AC is 2x, and again AL is going to be x minus 3, equal to BM is x minus 2, over BC is 2x plus 3, minus BM is x minus 2. So now it's come down to a simple linear equation. That's all. You just have to solve this, and you've got the value of x. That's all. You the main point here is to know the concept of basic proportionality theorem and how to apply it here. That's all. Otherwise, it's pretty very, very easy and a basic problem to solve. So let's solve this. Solving this, we get, let me draw a line here. So we have x minus 3, 2x minus x and minus of minus 3 is plus 3, which is equal to x minus 2 over 2x plus 3. Minus of x is minus x and minus of minus 2 is plus 2. So we've got x minus 3 over 2x minus x is x and plus 3 equals x minus 2. 2x minus x is x. 3 plus 2 is 5. So x plus 5. So this is the equation we've come down to. So now with simple cross multiplication, x minus 3 into x plus 5 equals x minus 2 into x plus 3. So x minus 3 into x plus 5 is nothing but x into x is x squared x into 5 is 5x, minus 3 into x is minus 3x, and minus 3 into 5 is minus 15. x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. So x squared and x squared gets cancelled, and we've got 5x minus 3x is 2x. So 5x minus 3x, the 3x comes this side, so it becomes minus 3x, and plus 2x equals plus 15 minus 6. So 5x minus 3x is 2x, 2x minus 3x is minus x, minus x plus x is x. So x equals 15 minus 6 is 9. So the value of x is found to be 9 by solving this. So pretty simple, not very complicated. Let us quickly solve another problem. So here we have another problem which reads like this. In the figure given here, both the figures of course, PQ is parallel to BC in both of them. We need to find QC in 1. So this is 1, QC in 1 and AQ in 2. So this is again not a very different problem. It's a very basic problem based on the basic proportionality theorem. So in the figure 1, we've got uh, because of PQ being parallel to BC, so therefore uh, by the basic proportionality theorem, we've got AP by BP equals AQ by QC. So we've got the values here, we've got AP as 1.5 and we've got BP as 3 and we have AQ as 1.3 and we need to find QC. So this is pretty simple again, 1.5 goes 2 times in 3. So we've got 
QC as 2 times 1.3, which is nothing but QC equals 2.6 centimeters. So it's as simple as this. So QC is already found. QC is equal to 2.6 centimeters in the first figure. So let us go to the second figure now. Again, this, from the same concepts, we've got AP by PB equals AQ by QC. Only that we need to find AQ in this case. So we've got AP as 3 and PB as 6. And then we've got AQ as nothing we have to find. AQ and QC is nothing but 5.3. So 3 goes 2 times in 6. So we've got AQ, 2 AQ equals 5.3, right? Cross multiplying. So we've got AQ equals 5.3 by 2, which is nothing but AQ equals 2.65 centimeter. Again, a very simple problem to solve. A very basic, basic proportionality theorem problem. Nothing very complex in this. So this concludes this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more complicated problems based on basic proportionality theorem.